now I think we get to the good stuff. All right. We, we, in the way that I think of Lightroom Mobile is I go on a trip. All right. And that's why I kind of think of Lightroom Mobile for travel and landscape photographers. That's, that's typically where I see it used the most. We go on a trip, whether it's a family trip, whether it's an official photography trip, or we're just taking photos, whatever we go on a trip, chances are you're taking photos with your phone. Okay. And then chances are you're taking photos with what I call, I would say, call it the big boy camera, you know, my Sony a7R2, but you're taking photos with another camera. Well, I want to bring these two worlds together, and that's what we can do with Lightroom Mobile. So the first phase is going to be down here in the collections panel inside of Lightroom Mobile, right? We're going to have to create a collection for our trip. So this is the workflow. We're using my wife and I's trip to Iceland as an example, right? We went to Iceland got our phone. We're taking pictures with the phone. Um, I've also got my Sony a7R2. I'm taking pictures with that, but let's worry about the phone for now. So what we're going to do here is tap on the little plus icon in the top right, and we want to create a collection. So I'm going to call this Iceland. All right. I'm going to click OK. And in my experience, if you look over here on the desktop, you'll eventually under the Lightroom mobile section, you'll eventually see Iceland appear. My experience is the longer you look, the longer it takes. It's not really meant for you to do something here and then you see it back over on your desktop immediately, but it does happen pretty quick. But if you look over here in the collection section, it's got my, uh, my Iceland collection. It doesn't have any photos in. Oh, look at that. See, it just showed up over here. Zero photos. So the Iceland collection that I created over here on the phone is now over here on the desktop as well. All right. Now, how do we get photos into this collection? Well, we got a couple of different ways to do it. One, I could just tap on Iceland, the collection, and I could tap on the camera in the bottom right hand corner, and I could take photos directly into that collection using the Lightroom mobile camera. I don't do that a lot, but it's a good, easy, quick way if you want to get them right into the collection. Um, the other one is, is if you've taken them with your iPhone's camera, all right, they're on the, the camera roll, not the Lightroom mobile camera, but they're on your iPhone's camera roll. Then you could tap on the add photos option down here at the bottom, and that will let you bring them in there from the camera roll. But here's another way to do it. And this is, this is typically what happens is, you know, I'll be taking photos. I'm not always great about creating the collection right away, but any photos that I do take with the Lightroom mobile app show up up here inside of Lightroom photos. So what I can do is I can tap on Lightroom Photos to show me all the photos that are inside of Lightroom Mobile right now. And then as I scroll, I can scroll down and get to my photos from Iceland. Okay, so here we are. Now, here's where if you did what I covered in another video where you can do some flagging and rating and things like that, if you did that work, you can actually tap in the middle up at the top and you can say, just show me my picked photos. So I'll do that. Just show me my pick photos. So right now I'm looking at everything, but just my pick. So let me go ahead and scroll here to just my, there we go. So here's my picks from Iceland. And then what I want to do is get these into the collection. So all I have to do is tap on that little three dots up in the top right corner. And I'm going to choose copy two. Now I need to select the photos that I want to copy in. So the easiest way is swipe, select, just put your finger down. You're kind of like painting across the screen like so. There we go. Oh, gone too far there. So you get the idea. I'm not going to bring them all in, but I'll bring enough in that we can see what happens here. And then you can see they've all got little check boxes next to them. And then I'm going to tap the right arrow in the top right. And then it's going to say, where do you want to copy them to? I want to copy them into the Iceland collection. Hit the check mark back at the top there. So now those photos exist inside of my Iceland collection right here. If I tap on it, there they are. All right. So now what I've done is, is kind of step one. Um, I've brought one part of these worlds together. These are my phone photos. These are photos that, you know, I took with my phone, the selfies of my wife and I and anything else that's out there. Um, I took all these with my phone. I've got these into a place that they're nice and organized. And then what's really nice about this is this has started the process of bringing these worlds together because now if you look over here on the desktop, you look next to Iceland, see it says 30. So now there's 30 photos. So the photos that I just added into that collection, remember they were already in Lightroom Mobile. They were already synced up to the cloud and everything, but they weren't available on my desktop yet. 
once I created that collection, I then said, hey, Lightroom Mobile, I wanna, I wanna share these to my other devices that use Lightroom. So now they're over here on my desktop. As long as I'm logged into my, my Adobe account, they'll show up over here on my desktop. So the same photos are there. So that first phase of this whole process um, is moving along well, right? We, got, we, ha we have the good photos that we took with our phone. We've got them organized in a place inside of Lightroom Mobile, and now we've got them over on our desktop. Now, the next piece of this is we're gonna have photos from our big boy camera. We're gonna have, yeah, I got my Sony, and I'm gonna have those on my desktop. I'm gonna wanna put them in too so that I can see them on Lightroom Mobile so that I'm not emailing myself my favorite photos. Um, I'm gonna wanna put them in here. Well, now I've already got a collection, so the process is really simple. So part one, done. Part one, we've taken care of the phone. We've got a good way to organize. Part two, let's take a look at the desktop.